Now we need to find the direction in which the boat must row so that it reaches the opposite bank in minimum time. It is given the velocity of river is the same. The speed of boat with respect to river is the same but its direction can be varied. That means this angle theta can be varied such that the time for this boat to go to the opposite bank is minimum. We have seen that the time taken by the boat to cross the river is d by vbr sin theta. Now for this to be minimum, the numerator d which is the width of the river is constant. So we cannot change it. The value vbr is also constant. We cannot change it. We can change the value of theta here. As theta is there in the denominator, if this sin theta is maximum, the time will be minimum, right? I'm repeating once again, if sin theta is maximum, the time will be minimum. So the maximum value of sin theta is 1 and this occurs at theta equals to 90 degrees. So its maximum value is 1 and it occurs at theta equals to 90 degrees. Now, what does this mean? If this theta is 90 degrees, it means the angle between VR bar and VBR bar must be 90 degrees. Right? So, the angle between VR and VBR must be 90 degrees. The minimum value of time becomes T min equals to D by VBR. This sine theta we have put as 1. So, time becomes d by vbr. Let us have a look at the schematic for the minimum time condition. So the boatman is rowing in this direction and the river is pushing him in this direction. So that is why he reaches somewhere here. So if you happen to be in a boat and uh, you are crossing a river which is flowing, if you want to cross the river in least time, what you must do is you must always point the boat exactly towards the opposite bank. Then you will reach the opposite bank in least time. Time. Also note one more thing, you are pointing your boat in this direction, you are pointing your boat in this direction but you are not reaching exactly here, right? You are pointing your boat in this direction but you are not reaching exactly here which means in a moving river, which means in a moving river, it does not mean if you want to reach a destination, you just point your boat to that destination and you reach there. Right? Let us say you are here and you are pointing in here, you want to go here and you are pointing your boat that side, it is not guaranteed that you will reach at that point. The next part is, during this minimum time, what is the drift of the boat? Which means, what is the horizontal displacement of the boat during this minimum time. So in x direction, the velocity of boat in x direction is vr, right? The velocity in x direction is vr. The time we have calculated as d by vbr from here. The drift is velocity in x direction into t. So that is vr into d by vbr. So, this distance we have marked here, from here to here is Vr into d by Vbr. The next part is, what direction must the person in the boat row so that it reaches the opposite bank with minimum drift. So, consider the boat is starting from here and he has to reach a place which is there here. So now how must he row? If you have any time gone in a boat, in a river, you observe 
and see in which direction does the boatman point the boat in he does not point it directly to the opposite bank he tilts it a little away and finally the boat reaches the opposite bank so we will see why if he tilts it does it reach the opposite bank so in this case the river is flowing in this direction and the boat must reach exactly the opposite bank so velocity of river is in this direction and velocity of boat with respect to ground is in this direction we know from relative velocity equation that vb equals to vbr plus vr vr is in this direction and this vb is in this direction so what direction must vbr be so that this relation is satisfied so this vector plus another vector must give us this vector we can see that if we point the boat in this direction the sum of this vector and this vector will give us this vector so if the resultant of these two vectors must be equal to this vector then we can say the horizontal component of resultant of this vector and this vector must be zero if the resultant horizontal component of these two vectors is zero then we can say the horizontal component of this vector must be equal to horizontal component of this vector the horizontal component of this vector is vbr sin alpha that must be equal to vr or sin alpha equals to vr by vbr also notice that sin alpha is lesser than 1 so vr by vbr is lesser than 1 or vr is lesser than vbr which means zero drift is possible only if the velocity of boat with respect to river is more than velocity of river otherwise the zero drift condition is not possible so let us have a look at the schematic so the boat is moving in this direction river pushes it here and so finally the boat reaches here boat is moving in this direction river pushes it here and finally the boat reaches here during the minimum drift the time taken by the boat to cross the river is d by vbr cos alpha now how are we getting this the time we are taking in the y direction in the y direction the displacement of the boat is d and in the y direction the speed of the boat is vbr cos alpha so the distance is d the speed in this direction is vbr cos alpha so the time is d by vbr cos alpha in different books you will see different formulas here we are writing in terms of cos alpha you will see in some books it is in terms of sin alpha so don't get overwhelmed by it if you can understand the concept and how we have got this for any kind of problem you will get the correct answer this minimum drift is also called as crossing the river along the shortest path so from here to here is a shortest path so minimum drift is also called crossing the river along shortest path